Hello family, dear followers of Path to the Root, always a pleasure to be with you. Yeah, last time we talked about uh, understanding Vodun spirituality part one, and today is our part two. Uh, last time we made it clear that uh, Vodun spirituality is totally different from Vodun religion. And when we're talking about religion, we're talking about uh, politics, we're talking about technologies, uh, divinities that uh, all natural powers that we discovered and materialized so that they can protect us against a certain uh, realities of life like witchcraft. And I gave some examples like uh, Tron, divinity, uh, Gambada, Jagli, Koku, that you should not take those for uh, spirituality. I, anyway, religion comes from spirituality. But when we're talking about uh, Vodun spirituality and Vodun religion, uh, they are two different things, you know. Because Vodun spirituality, as I said last time, is more about knowing thyself. And the Fa, initiation to Fa, is what can guide you to that point. You cannot make the decision that I want to initiate to Sapata, to Gu, or a divinity without going too far to see which spiritual clan you belong to. Because it is by knowing, after you know which spiritual clan you know, that you can now uh, have an idea of the divinities you can work with. Now, today we are going to talk about what comes after initiation uh, to Fa. Uh, because a lot of people, uh, when we discuss with them, is like uh, after initiation to Fa, there's a lot of responsibility. It's like you have to learn certain things, uh, but that is not true. Huh? That is not a reality. Uh, getting into Vodun spirituality, initiating to Fa, does not put you in jail. This does not make you dependent on if an Ifa priest. On, on, I mean, it doesn't make you dependent on a Babalao. Uh, that, not at all. We, you know, what do you take, in fact, after initiation to Fa? Uh, we already explained that it is believed in Vodou spirituality that we have 256 spiritual clans. And... Uh, when you get initiated to Fa, it is just to know which of these 20, uh, 256 clan you belong to. So when we take the clan, we know which forces, which natural forces, spirit, energy, rule that clan. And based on that, there is a lifestyle that we prescribe that you need to observe. To stay in communion with those energies, I mean, with that energy. And when you want to worship a divinity, you have an idea of which divinity you can honor. Now, what do you take from the far priest after initiation? You have some kernel. It is palm knot. You know, palmist, the knot. But this palm knot are not the ordinary palm knots. It's not that you just see palm knot in the bush, uh, I mean from a palmist and you use it, no. Within palmist we have a specific type that we look for. And there's, before you pluck uh, even the palmist, there's a way, there are works that you do. And after collecting it, there are there's a series of things you have to do on that uh, knot, the kernel, uh, before they become sacred. You understand? Then, when you finish your initiation, you take those uh, set of, uh, of, of, of kernel. If you are a man, you will be given two sets. If you are a woman, you are given one set. Because up to now in Benin Republic, in Tahume, women are not allowed to take two sets of fa. And men are the only one who can take two sets of fa. And when we say two sets or two hands, it just means that the 
kernel that you take in are two times the one that women take. We'll explain in another video why it is like that. Uh, because people think it is discrimination or you no, know, some it's just misunderstanding that is creating a lot of things. So you are given those kernel that you will bring home and you put them in a nice uh, ball. Uh, preference will be when you, you make it white, it will be good. White dish, it will be good. It can be plastic, no problem, but we prefer it to be in a white dish or a clay pot. We have small clay pot specially made for fa that we call a fa dish, fagma. So you go home with that. Uh, if you have done the fun style, they will give you the poly. Poly is nothing else that uh, the white powder in which you call your soul. I mean, your ori, your ser is your creator. So to see is your destiny beholder. So the powder put on the plate, uh, on the wood piece, on which you call your sign by drawing the right figures, is with that, is that that we gather and make it sacred so that it represents the sec poly. But in the Yoruba style, in the Nango style, you don't take that. They will just give you that powder and you have a shower with You can put in the water and have a shower with but in form, we material, you will take some and have a shower with, and then we materialize the ori itself. So you will have the white piece, the small white piece of that that you put on your fa. So that is the fa. You don't take any other thing. But we say that the fa knowledge, the knowledge of fa, is given by Boko Legba, that uh, the Yoruba or the Nango will call. Uh, Eshu Elegbara. Eshu Elegbara. The Eshu is, uh, you know, Fa always work with uh, Eshu. Because we say that Eshu Elegbara is the, I mean, Boko Legba, let me speak my dialect. Boko Legba is the spokesman, uh, spokesman of Fa. So, whoever initiates to Fa, apart from the kernel and the white piece that we call the sepoli or the ori if you are practicing form of course if you are in yoruba style they will not give you that you will just have the kernel and one stone maybe or um, after the stone you can also have um, uh, what we call the ajiki it is a small knot that we use to consult we talk to you can put that Others can do decoration and put beads here, yeah, which are not really necessary. The most important is the kernel. Then, when you take that, you take now uh, your legba. Legba is not necessary to be taken on the spot, except when you have certain signs. There are signs, there are do, that requires the initiate to take the legba on the spot. But others, you can take it later. You understand? Then, uh, when you, those are the two things you take after initiation to fa that you bring to your house: the kernel, the legba, and now, if you are in fun style, the kernels are followed with the se, and you bring home. Now, what do you do to that? Is not Fa is not a divinity that you wake up every morning, you pour water on it, you pour alcohol on it, you give oil to it. No. It's just with you to collect all the energy, the wrong energy around, turn, I mean, make sure positive things come to you. When she see that hot uh, heat is coming, it cool it down. It's just something you, you, you keep in your room. No work on it, you are not a priest. No work on it. But when you are in such a certain situation that you really don't understand, you need help, like we pray, oh, God help me. 
you can then go to take your kennels and say, oh, fa, bring peace to my life. Uh, I've taken you because I was looking for peace. But see what is happening to me. I know the solution is in your hand. Please help me. And then you, after talking to your father, just practice, uh, pass it on your belly and then put it back. Everything is okay and you will see what happens. Now what you worship every time is the legba. The legba, if you were in Benin, will ask you to do every four days. But we consider a market day. But the market days are fundamentally based on some realities here. So when you are abroad, you just choose one good day in your area and you know that this day I worship my labor. This day of the week I worship my labor. And then what does labor take? The corn meal that you give, uh, uh, I mean, the maize meal, white maize meal and you add some water that you shake please never put your finger in you can take a stick and stir it then you pour on the labor shrine that is the fuel that labor need to work to be active to never lose its uh, strength and you give it a red palm oil that is what is softness for labor it gives softness to the divinity so that it can share softness with you. Your life will be soft, uh, wellness. That is what it symbolizes. And now if Legba will take any food, it will just be a porridge. Uh, we will call it uh, ghee. Uh, in Port Novo, people will call it kansan. Uh, it's a white, it's maize meal still, but made like a dough. So you just put a little on the top of Legba, and that is not even frequent uh, I mean every time but weekly you have to be given labor some jassy which is the maize meal with water and the uh, palm oil I mean the red palm oil that's all that you do now feeding the divinities with chicken stuff like that this can occur once a year and you will see there's no problem in your life you will be okay so your fat also Sometimes you can take a reading and they say, okay, go and feed your fa or do this to your fa. And then we can ask you to put your fa, add some oil on your fa with the word fa. It's, it's not complicated. You can talk to your fa priest, they will tell you. But it's not that it becomes another work for you. That every day you're talking to your fa, you're doing this to your fa. No. It's just to, fa is just the kennel adjust with you to cap the I mean the wrong vibrations around you and turn the the, the bad to the to, to good for you. You see? So uh, I think that those are things you take after fa initiation. Now uh, what is the responsibility apart from feeding your leg back? The other responsibility is that since you have taken your fa, every year you have to feed your fa and renew the energy of the fa. That you cannot do it yourself. You need a babalao. You need a bokono, a, a fa priest, who will use the sacred leaves, the leaves that are for fa work, that they will scrub and put your fa in, do chanting, uh, this ritual, and then kill animals, offer far some food. Some years it can be not animal and just be fish. Yes, it depends. So they do that. That is once a year. And if you are spiritualist, depending on your challenges, if it is too high, you can do it twice. But that's already too much in the past. Just once a year when it is well done, the whole year will be covered. You see? So... Uh, being a fa priest, uh, I mean, being initiated to fa does not ask you to learn any prayers. It does not uh, require any training, any chant mas uh, mastering. No, it's just like you become a Christian. You become a Christian does not mean that you become a reverend father. You have your Bible, you pray the way you want. You go to church on Sunday to do your thing. But this does not give you the quality to become 
I mean, to be a, a priest, I mean, a reverend father. So that is what I would like to share with you guys. Uh, initiate, getting initiated to far is to know who you are. And the responsibility behind is that you are taking back home some kennel that need to be renewed, I mean, fed every year. You're going back home with your legba, which requires food, I mean, which is uh, palm oil and uh, maize meal with water every week. So doing that, you will see stability in your life and you are in communion with your father. Yeah. And next time we're going to talk about other stuff, maybe uh, what to do with the divinities that uh, come up on our father. Thank you and see you later. Please, if you like the video, share so that uh, more of our people know about Vodun spirituality. Bye-bye.